Yo, 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 Gaming Montel here. Um, back with Infinity Strash Dragon Quest The Venture of Die. We'll be starting Chapter 5. Um, we're gonna try to complete the whole entire Chapter 5 in this video. I'm gonna put it up for put it up for premiere by the time y'all see this video, it'll be already premiering. And I do hope y'all enjoy it. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and get into it and we're gonna see what this chapter is about. But appreciate y'all. Mam ventured off to pursue her martial arts training. Meanwhile, Dai approached Leona, hoping to find a suitable replacement for his steel broadsword. The princess suggested that they pay a visit to the department store in Ben Garna. Intrigued by the idea of a place that sells everything imaginable, Dai agreed, and the pair set off. For his part, Pop asked Madarev about Dai's crest, only for the Grand Sorcerer to remain mum, realizing it was the Dragon Crest. Before Pop left to catch up with Dai, Madarev bestowed upon him a Sorcerer Cape, Shining Staff, and a belt as a parting gift. He then told Pop that Dai would likely hit a major wall soon, instructing that Pop needed to be there for his friend. Dai and Leona made for Ben Garna in an air balloon, albeit without her servant's permission. Dai worried about leaving Pop behind, who had planned to accompany them. Leona, having been keen to take the trip alone with Dai, replied that it didn't matter whether Pop came along. Pop, upon catching up with Elevazoom, took offense to her dismissal. Thus, in the end, the trio sailed onward to Ben Garna. Ben Garna! It's considered the safest country in the world. Thanks to its superior military and industry, it's kept the Dark Army at bay with an abundance of resources and weapons, all backed by the world's greatest economy. So this is a department store? Let's see. Clothes and armor are on the fourth floor, and weapons are on the fifth. Wow, this is so cool! 3,800 gold?! Oh, hey, Dai. Feel free to buy anything under 5,000 gold. Metals and textiles from Papnica, they always sell for quite a lot. So, if I sell these dresses, we'll get 20 to 30,000 gold. Hey, how about this? Oh, are you kidding? What kind of sage dresses like that? How about... Hey! Quit messing around, would ya? Come on, this actually has pretty high defense. So, Pop, what about you? I'm good. I got a new weapon and a cape already. You pick something. In that case, right there. Okay, this will have to do. <laughs> uh, do they have one a little more your size? It's fine. I'll get used to it. Okay, let's find Dai a new weapon. A dragon's bane. It can pierce a dragon's hide, which is said to be harder than steel. It's a top-quality blade. My friends, since this is our only piece of its kind, it will be put on auction. Get real. These things always go for over 15,000 gold. What do you buy it with? Mommy's allowance? Die, Pop, let's buy that dragon's bane. Are you serious? We don't have 15,000 gold? I have 16,000 gold right here. Besides, weapons like this don't turn up every day, you know. Don't even bother. Using weapons more powerful than you are? Don't waste your money like one of those ridiculous fools. They're not really strong. They're just pretending. 
Grandmother, that's enough. Please, forgive us. Grandmother has no manners. They looked kind of like Sears. Yeah, and hey, the younger one was a cutie patootie, wouldn't you say? Hmm. This country's finished. All that's advanced is its appearance. Hmm? What is it, Marla? Grandmother, something's coming. Several beings with terrifying power. Monsters! aren't working! Just how tough is its hide? Seventeen thousand! 17,500! 18,000! Hey, I think that's enough now, Princess. Come on. I've got this. We're fine. We stand at 18,000! Speak now, or forever hold your peace! 19,000! Uh -huh. Today's feature item, the Dragon's Bane, goes to... The Merchant, Mr. Gopple! For the whopping price of 18,000 gold! <laughs> what are you doing, Goma-chan? Leona, it's no big deal. I'll just use a normal weapon. I can still fight without it. That's not it. Watching those goons just walk away with that sword, I can't stand it. It would be better put to use in our hands. True. I doubt those guys care about fighting for justice. What? What's this? Oh, this is bad! Look at that! An army of dragons! They're headed right for us! And one, two, three, four, five, five dragons! Do you think that's the Dark Army's Dragon Legion? Regular monsters are one thing, but I draw the line at dragons. Hey, Gopple, you bought the dragon's bane, right? Why don't you go use it to drive them off? Don't be ridiculous. I bought this thing to make money. I'm no good in a fight. Pathetic. But, having said that, what do we do? With this many dragons, we might be in a little over our heads. I think we should fight. Those dragons could have come here for us. Either way, we should try to buy a little time, so that the people of the city have a chance to escape. <sighs> You've changed my mind about you, princess. It seems like true leaders really do prove themselves in the heat of the moment. Is that so? My opinion of you hasn't changed yet. Watch me. Die. All the dragons, I can take care of them. You take care of the big guy. And Princess, you evacuate the people in this building. I got it. Everyone! We need to get out of here. Right now! Okay! Here I go! Chen. Please help my mommy. We need to move this rock. Draw the Hydra away to give you time! I'll give it my all! 
<laughs> well, better keep. strong well well <laughs> well don't let your guard down I'm ready So that's the dragon, huh? Five-headed dragon. Come on, let's get this work. Oh, shit. Okay. Easy work. I think he's enraged now. So that's my only thing. Like, it's hard to do back to back dodges. Broke his armor. Get ready. Fire earth flash. There we go. That's put up a good fight. Took a lot of my health. <laughs> Did it. Legendary Dragon Knight in battle. Hey, my dragon's bane. Dang, Dido got a lot stronger, didn't he? Good job, Dai. That was amazing. Hey, are you okay? I'm scared. He's so scary. I'm scary? Is everyone looking at me like that? What did I? Because you're not human. And seeing your inhuman fighting abilities has them all terrified. Humans can be so selfish, even now after you've protected their city. <laughs> I got you! <laughs> 
My name is Kilvern, but my rather insulting friends call me the Reaper. Are you the Dragon Legion commander? Commander? <laughs> I'm not that distinguished. I'm just a servant. The Dark Army has been buzzing with speculation about your identity. I was sent to learn more, so I borrowed a few dragons from the Dragon Legion. And now, as a result, I was able to see what you really are. <laughs> oh, also, the real Dragon Legion commander will probably show up soon to lure you into hell. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> What did he mean by my... my identity? Hang on, you called Dai the Dragon Knight, didn't you? Indeed. He must be the Dragon Knight from the legends of our homeland. I am Nabara the Seer, and this is my granddaughter, Merla. We're from the Terran Kingdom. Terran is to the north of here. They call it the Mystic Country. Mystic Country Terran. If I go there, I might learn something. So this is Terran? Gorgeous. Yeah, but it's kind of folksy. More of a village than a kingdom. But, you know, I'm really happy the Dark Army hasn't attacked this place. To be blunt, it's because it has no tactical value. Terran is a kingdom by name alone. It has no military power. Quite right. Love for nature, devotion to the gods. Because of these, our king forbade the development of weapons and goods. He said they would bring disaster upon us. But with a lack of industry, our country also became weakened. Everybody prefers a life filled with luxury. Eventually, the population moved away to find it, and this country was left to rot. Now there are only about 50 people. Of course, we were among those who left. Can't run a fortune-telling business in a country of only 50 people. But I still love this, this quiet little country. Hmm. <sighs> She's rather a strange one. Madam Nabara, I need you to tell me. There's answers out there about my identity, and I have to find them. Follow me. Look inside. That, my boy, is the crest of the dragon. Is that the symbol that appears on my forehead? Yes, it's identical. Terran worships the god of dragons. This crest is revered and feared as a sign of the god of dragon's power. He who bears this crest on his forehead is the dragon knight. But what does that mean? That Dai may not be human at all. We believe it is a servant of the gods. According to the legends, the dragon knight wields awesome power. Hmm. It can cast any spell, and with the heavens, earth, and sea as its allies, it will destroy all of creation. They could be our savior, or our destroyer. All that is written is that they shall wield power like a reincarnation of the dragon god. However, there is a forbidden temple at the bottom of this lake. The soul of the god of dragons is said to rest there. It's a sacred place in Terran. If you really are connected in some way to the legend of the Dragon Knight, perhaps you can enter that temple and see for yourself. I'm going down there, alone. But shouldn't we all go? No, I... I'm doing this myself. Just, I've never wondered who I am before. I washed up on Dermline Island as a baby and was raised among monsters. Grandpa Brass was hard on me, but he really cared. The monsters never, they never excluded me just because I wasn't like them. 
But humans won't accept me unless, unless I am like them. That's why I want to find the truth. I, I don't want you or Leona to hate me. about things that don't even matter. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends! I... I don't care if you're a monster or not. That... That never mattered! Dragon Legion's advances. Just as our hero set out for Taran Kino, Merle senses more Dragon Legion monsters in the area. Urgent die to take care of them first. Huh. <laughs> I'm getting strong. Let's get this started.
Dai entered the underwater temple, encountering a strange crystal that referred to itself as the guardian of the place. He tried to ask this crystal about who he is, however. The crystal replied that only a dragon knight is allowed to enter the temple, meaning that Dai must be one. It then spoke of how the Dragon Knight was created by the God of Dragons, God of Darklings, and God of Humans long ago as the ultimate creature. Just as Dai then asked why such a creature was created, the crystal sent someone else entering the temple. Who are you? I am the Dragon Legion Commander. Baran. This is the Dragon Legion Commander. The real deal. And there's something about him. So you're Dai. That's right. If you're the Dragon Legion Commander, does that mean you're here to kill me? No, I'm not. The Dragon Crystal must have already told you the truth about your identity. I want your power, Dai. Now come and serve me, and together we shall destroy the human world. Serve you? Destroy the human world? You're joking! I make no such joke. It's what the legendary Dragon Knights were born to do, after all. So you have not learned yet. Very well. I will teach you everything the Dragon Crystal did not. Long ago, when the gods first created this world, three species ruled the land. The humans, the darklings, and the dragons. These three species fought bloody battles for control of the ancient world. The gods lamented this conflict, and decided someone should oversee their creation. The gods of dragons, darklings, and humans convened and came to an agreement. To create a being with the strength of dragons, the magic power of darklings, and the heart of humans. An ultimate warrior. The Dragon Knight. If any force should ever hold ambitions to dominate the world, it is the Dragon Knight's duty to wipe them out and administer divine punishment. Well, if what you're telling me is true, isn't the Dark King Vern the real problem? He's the one who's trying to conquer the world! No, the humans are the evil ones. King Vern only seeks to wipe them out for the sake of the rest of the world. I'm on the side of humanity, no matter what you say! It was the Dark Army that took my Master Avon's life! I'd rather die! Dragon Legion Commander Baron, take this! Avon Strash! The Avon Strash, it didn't work? I would rather not have to harm you, but if this is truly how you feel, I will have to take you with me by force! I sense it. A being with massive power right below us! Look! Is that Dai? Are you okay? What in the world happened? What? Who is he? He's got the same crest as Dai! He's part of the Dark Army, Dragon Legion Commander Baron. It can't be. Only one Dragon Knight is supposed to exist. Correct. I am a true Dragon Knight created by the gods to watch over this world. But there exists an anomaly. This boy, this friend of yours. He is a Dragon Knight by blood. It's time. Time for you to embrace your duties, and destroy what's left of humanity with me. Look, I already told you! I will never do that! Not right now, perhaps. During the early years of childhood, the Dragon Knight is no different from the normal human. But as you grow older, 
and begin to exhibit the power of dragons, humans will start to fear, reject, and persecute you. When that happens, you will be the one to suffer. Screw your nonsense! Die's our friend, you understand? No matter what he is, we will never persecute him! Oh, but... Princess, he'll die! He can't fight in that shape. I'll try to deal with this guy in the meantime! Ah! Dog! Princess! Got it. Full heal! Yo, this, this stuff is getting heated. Patch him right up! That was my best spell! It didn't even slow him down! It is futile to resist! Yo, that's crazy. Strong. I will be taking the boy with me. No, you can't have him. You may have something in common with Dai, but that does not give you the right to just take him. I do have the right. This boy is my son. His real name is Dino. He's lying. I say you're a liar. Dai told me that he washed up on Dermline Island as an infant. Have you got any proof that you're family? The crest on his forehead should be more than proof enough for you. Only one person in the world aside from me could have the dragon crest. The son I lost 11 years ago. My boy Dino. Then you're certain that you're the only bloodline of the Dragon Knight? What if you're wrong? Wait, what about his mother? Where is the woman who gave birth to him? The boy's mother. The child does indeed bear a striking resemblance to his mother. He does? However, that's of no concern to you humans. Astonishing! Soberan is Dai's father? Correct. Over a decade has passed, and now we are witness to the tearful reunion. Uh -oh. But don't forget that I'm the one who arranged this emotional <coughs> moment. After all, I uncovered the truth that a certain coward in our ranks was hiding. How dare you! Silence! The great Dark King shall grace us with his presence now. Contain yourselves. <laughs> If I must, I suppose this is Dark King Vern's throne room. We welcome you, your grace. Well done, all of you. You may raise your heads. I see things are getting interesting. Yes. There has been some debate among the commanders as to whether or not Dai is a Dragon Knight. Therefore, I went to ascertain the truth as a neutral party. Hadlar was very opposed to that. Could he have known all along? These dirty little... Mistburn, what do you think of the boy's power? I gave Flazard the most powerful armor in my arsenal. To test Dai's strength, the child wields a terrifying amount of power. <laughs> oh, to think I could have two Dragon Knights under my command. General Baran must be rewarded if he succeeds in recruiting the boy. Indeed, if he does, he may take the seat of Dark Commander. But King Vern! My decision has been made. I knew it. What I was afraid of has come to pass. So this is the reason why Hadlar was so desperate to keep Dai from Baran. However, it appears things will not go that smoothly. Don't you understand, child? 
I am far stronger than you could ever hope to be. I still have my... my final weapon! That's right. What matter have said, a hero's weapon! The only weapon I have left that might work on you... ...is what lets me face any powerful enemy. And that is my courage! Dino. Don't call me that! My name is Dai. It's the name my grandpa gave to me. I fight the Dark Army. I'm Dai the Hero! I see. Very well. Then I suppose I shall call you by your human name. So, Dai, I shall defeat you as a hero who fights for the human. If you will not submit yourself to me, this will be your end. All right, let's let's go get Die Father the Hands, the Hans. Let's go, Father. Take these Hans. Behold the power of the one true Dragon Knight. Give me that Dragon Blade. Give it. Let's go, Father. I'm on the side of humanity no matter what you say. It was the Dark Army that took my Master of Bond's life. Ooh, okay. I'd rather die. I would rather not have to hunt. But if this is truly how you feel. <laughs> Too obvious. Was that obvious, huh? Was this obvious too? Oh shit. Woo. 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 I'll leave you in two. How naive. Okay, looking like looking like Vegeta over there. Oh shit. Buddy is um kind of difficult. Eh? Away with you. Always put that the wrong way. Come on, man. Enough, Dino. Though I understand your feelings, this tantrum. My name is Die. It is you to witness the terror of a true dragon. Weave. Okay. Oh. Oh. Bro, the time the dodging is kind of weird. Okay, okay, hype. How can he block it? I 
I thought Dice Strash was perfected. He's absorbing this apple's energy with his sword. I'm impressed. You can control the power of dragons so well. Oh shit. For that spirit and courage, I shall show you just how terrifying it is when a true Dragon Knight controls the heavens. Kazap! Kazap? Oh. Come on, Dad. You gotta learn there, bro. Crocodile can do anything. My buddy, buddy just did a Dragon Ball Z attack. I don't think we could do anything against him. But King Vern, Dark King Vern Shadow. What a relief! We're in big trouble. You here. It's like having an army. Buddy, you're shaking. Crocodile, I trust you are fully aware of what will happen if you try to stand against me here today. This might be my end, but that's something I'm prepared to do. We'll fight with you. Don't bother. I don't know how. But he's completely immune to spells. I think the only way to damage him is if I attack directly by hand or with a weapon. I see you figured it out. Well done, Beast King. If you know what's going on, then why stand in my way? Why should I not reclaim my own son? Because Dai doesn't want it. Oh, I see. So you've completely sided with the humans, have you? Isn't that a shame? Of all the Legion commanders, I think I respected you the most. That boy Hyunkel wasn't bad either, with his hate for humans in that heart of ice. But everyone I favor seems to leave the Dark Army. I suppose Hadlar just lacks charisma. That's not true. I don't know about Yunkel, but I was willing to lay down my life for Lord Hadlar, and the same for Dark King Vern. A true warrior denies himself for his master. All that's changed is that now I support Dai. Without Dai, both Yunkel and I would have wandered the dark path forever. He is the sun that brought light into our hearts of darkness. To change the heart of a warrior such as Crocodile, quite the child, the son, a child of the sun, Sola. Crocodile, I see I won't change your mind, but if you do fight me, you will learn the terror of facing a true dragon knight. The complete power of dragons is far beyond what you've seen Dai do! What is this? His aura is staggering, but he's just standing there. If you won't fight, then I'll claim your head! It can't be! My axe cannot be shattered! Behold the secret to the Dragon Knight's supremacy, the Draconic Aura. When this Dragon Crest shines, my body is enveloped in a current of life energy. It is called the Draconic Aura. It's an unmatched defensive ability that will repel any kind of incantation. 
Now that I've fully deployed my protective aura, you'll find that in battle, there is no creature in the entire world that can stand against me! Now, my friend, you can fight no longer. Surrender. Princess, go and help die. Okay, I'll try casting full heal. What are you doing, boy? If my magic isn't going to work, I'll have to use this thing! You can't be that stupid. The reason I defeated Crocodile so thoroughly just now is because he's the type of monster that's the greatest threat to me. Indeed, the Draconic Aura will deflect any type of spell, but a truly great force may still be able to pierce my defenses and deal fatal damage to me directly. <laughs> Crocodile is mighty. A strike from a weakling mage like you will no consequence at all. I still have to try. Okay, here goes. Huh? Hey, Crocodile. I told you, Pop. You just leave this one to me. You're in no condition to fight. I still have my left arm. Even though it might look like I've been blinded, I can still see with my inner eye. The inner eye that you, you cleared for me. Uh, I did? That's right. Back when we fought in Romos, you risked your life to face me. Someone you couldn't hope to beat. You showed me the greatness of humanity. Trusting and fighting together as one. The one who cleared the filth that was staining my heart. But you know that. Crocodile. That's why I will risk my life as well. Moran made me unbeatable, but I couldn't call myself your friend if I did nothing to really stop him. Here we go, Moran. This is my final attack. You brute. I've already dodged your best attack, but let's see what you can do anyway. And I doubt that you'll dodge this. Take a break! I held back earlier when I used this on my son, but I won't this time. Though some might show mercy on a former ally, I cannot let anyone praise humanity and allow them to survive! I'll reduce you both to ashes! It can't be! Looks like Dai's back in the fight! And what difference do you really think it'll make? You just made it easier. Easier to get all of you. Ah, What's impossible? Crocodile, I need you to follow my aim and then use that attack! Got it! Crocodile, your eye. What did he do to it? It's all right, die. It's nothing. Don't worry about this whole beast. Leona! We need you to look at Crocodine's eye! Got it. Merla! It's all right. He has a cut on his eyelid. Wait a second. What are you still doing here, you two? Well, I wanted us to run, but this one here insisted on staying and helping you. They needed us, and I know how to perform all the basic heal spells, too. You should go! Leave the healing to Leona and run! 
The boy is right, young lady. Maybe if it was anyone else, but Baran is the deadliest soldier in the entire Dark Army. Wait a minute, ain't that Daimon? But still, after being hit by an attack like that one. Fully deployed his draconic aura to resist your combined attack. You're so doomed! Avon's trash and Beast King Redemption Blast, and he's completely undamaged? What are we supposed to do? No! I think it worked! He's got the same red blood that we all do! Impossible. They broke through my draconic aura and landed a legitimate attack. Even with help from his friends. For such a small child. But it wasn't just his strength alone. The power of his friends had great influence. Dai's comrades, they risked their lives and did everything they could. In turn, his compassion for them filled his heart and multiplied his power. Unless that bond is broken, Dai's might will continue to grow. He may even eventually become a threat to me. Crocodine, it looks like our attacks had an effect after all. In that case... Indeed. Either he's going to fall, or all of us will. Let's keep fighting and find out, shall we? What a shame that the same ploy won't work twice. You're not going to be able to evade my Giga Break with your pathetic tricks again. However, one can never be certain. The boy is capable of a terrifying amount of potential. And so now, I will use all my remaining energy to destroy your source of power! <laughs> Bro, about to go Super Saiyan, huh? This is where the game started off at. The two dragon crests are resonating with each other. My head, my head feels like it's splitting. Uh, Grandpa Brass, what are you doing here? Gomachet and everyone home on Durmline Island. Seeing all of this, that noise is gone. Baron, what did you do? Then he just raised his I have taken what my son no longer needs. I've used too much of my strength. For now, I will have to retreat. But I shall return to reclaim Dino, my son. Okay? What a relief! We were worried! What's wrong? You look confused or something. Wh who are you guys? What am I even doing out here? I summon you, Masters of the Three Disciplines. It is time for the Dragon Legion to go to battle. Member of the Dragon Masters, Skyrise! 
why that gal dandy is here. As his sea rider bore a horde, king of the sea. Land Rider Larhart. At your service. Thank you for coming. I have been waiting. It's been three years, hasn't it? Too long since we were last summoned. Requiring all of us means it's something big. Something that could test our strength. Has the time come for some real destruction? <laughs> it would seem that my son Dino is alive after all. The hero Dai who fights the Dark Army is my long-lost son. Master Dino? What a cruel twist of fate. I've already fought the group of warriors the boy is leading. The bond between them all was stronger than I anticipated, and I was forced to concede. But how is that possible? I guess that explains it, why we're out here at Argo Point. This is where the Fountain of Miracles resides. It's a place of healing for the Dragon Knights. However, that was not my only reason for coming here. He's thinking about his wife. We understand, General Baron. You'll be needing the three of us to assist in the capturing of young Master Dino. Exactly. My son has made troublesome allies. They would risk death for die the hero. The humans can display terrifying strength when they're prepared to die. If his allies should resist, the three of you must crush them. In the meantime, I shall reclaim my son. Sir! Sir. I must prepare for battle. Wait for me here. Sola, I will get our son back from those filthy humans. Now, my Dragon Legion, we ride to the Terran Kingdom. When my son Dino joins our forces, our strength shall be absolute! Right then, follow me! After Baron's attack, the party sheltered in Merla's cottage. Though Crocodine's eye looked like it would heal, Dai, on the other hand, had completely lost his memory, incapacitating him. Whenever he attempted to remember the past, he got a splitting headache. Thus, Leona decided to have him meet the King of Terran. How intriguing! That supernatural storm was caused by the Dragon Knight. And this child is none other than his son. It may have been a psychic signal of some kind that took his memories. Think of it as a mental wave emitted from the Dragon Crest. So how can we get his memory back to normal? Sadly, I do not know. We merely worship the God of Dragons. We know the history of the Dragon Knight, but we've barely begun to understand the extent of their powers. I understand. Then, will you please protect Dai in your fortress for a time, Your Majesty? It's the most fortified building in the kingdom. You still seek to fight the Dragon Knight? Yes, we do. While the people of Terran may regard Baron's attack as some kind of divine will, it's an attack against humanity, and we stand against any aggression. Uh, I see. I had heard of the bravery of the Princess of Papnica. Kanar, you will aid the Princess Leona and her party. Thank you very much, Your Highness. An energy of great wrath! It's coming! Straight for this kingdom! That's not all! 
There are other similar energies. Three of them. What are you doing? Let me, let me out of here. Isn't this going too far? Young lady, do you know what imprinting is? It's something that happens in the animal world sometimes. Whenever a beast of my species hatches from its egg, it assumes the first thing it sees is its parent. Baron's reduced Dai to the state of a newly hatched infant. If Dai encounters him now, he'll probably accept Baron as his father. The mark they both bear is irrefutable proof. Because of that, we have no choice but to do this. It's cruel, but it's for his own good. <laughs> They're headed straight for Terran. From the southeast! They're the other sources of energy you sensed, Merla! Could they be the Dragon Masters? The most powerful beings who serve Baran? With dragons under their control, they're said to rival even the Legion commanders. We may not be strong enough to hold them back. If only Junker were here. <laughs> well, I guess that blows it. We're definitely done for. Really sorry, but I am not dying for nothing. I'm bailing out. You guys can do whatever, and I mean whatever you like. So you're saying that, that you're not going to help us? I'm saying that I am out. If they're that strong, there's no point in resisting. You're all just fooling yourselves. But Pop, do you understand what that would mean? Uh, you're the ones who don't understand. Dai barely knows who he is. We're falling apart, and now we're facing the toughest Legion. With those odds, you'd have to be crazy to consider fighting. And I thought that fighting for your friends, even when there's no hope, was what you disciples of Avorn truly believed in! He is right. I thought you were Dai's best friend. Are you really willing to abandon him now, after all this time? Don't worry about him. After all, he's not even a human. He is one of them, isn't he? So why not just give him back? They'll take good care of him. <laughs> Fine, then. Get out of my sight. Cowards aren't much use to us anyway. And Pop wonder why nobody likes them. Thanks a lot. No, Pop! Wait a minute. Do not go after him, Crocodine. We will still need you right here defending this position. Yes, but... I've always admired the disciples of Avon. I was actually hoping to learn from Master Avon before we lost him. I believed that Pop would stay with us because he was one of those disciples. I never thought he could be so cowardly. What could have happened to all your courage, young Pop? Stop! Merla. Was it all a lie? You said I was your friend, even if he was a monster. Were those words, those tears, all a lie? Then I, I hate you. I can't believe I actually liked you. You know, it's funny. This reminds me of that time when Ma'am punched me and said I disgusted her. Wow. But this isn't like back then. If I tried to go alone, you'd all stop me. That's why I had to say that. I'm sorry. Look after Die, everyone. I'll stop them, even if I don't come back. I may not win, but at least I'll take one or two of them out with me. So take care of the rest.
right there. You're not going any farther. Look who's here to stop us. Just a wimpy little brat. Galdandi, watch yourself. He can cast spells stronger than you'd expect. Dragons. Pathetic. You're brave to try and stop us alone. Master, why don't you leave this one to us? We will catch up with you later. You should hurry ahead and find Dino. Very well, then. I will leave this fight to you. But do not underestimate him. As I said before, humans who are prepared to die can display terrifying strength. I'm leaving now. Zoom! Get back here! Know your place, boy. A pipsqueak like you couldn't beat Master Baron in a million years! What a bet! Copperhead! With one single breath, huh? <laughs> you really thought you could fight the Dragon Masters with spells like that? Take this! <laughs> That's enough, Borohorn. He's nothing more than a fledgling. We shouldn't make him suffer. Let's just get this over with, all right? I guess. For a toy, he's not very fun to play with. Mm. Mm. Galdandi's favorite Imperial Serpent? But his resistance is going to come with a steep price. That takes care of their dragons. Now the real fight starts. This... this is impossible! How could you die, Root? <laughs> What are you crying about, bird face? You're a monster! You've destroyed entire kingdoms! Kill tons of humans! So what? Brood was an ethereal serpent! And the only friend I ever trusted! We were always together, no matter what! How dare you compare my beloved dragon to some filthy little humans! I'll slice you to pieces! So many, they'll never even find you! This 
one's the real deal. I'll slice you to pieces! I'll slice you to pieces! So many, they'll never even find you! Alright! I like that face right there. I know. How about I do what you did to Rude and take off your head? <sighs> this time I'll fi <laughs> this time I'll fi <laughs> this time I'll finish the job. Rizzle. Uh, impossible. <sighs> Gotta do something while I still have some stamina and magic power. You're tougher than I thought, and it's making me angry. <gasps> oh, I like that face right there. I know. How about I do what you did to Rude and take off your head? Just keep that expression. <laughs> Who's there? Are you all right, Pop? Oh, it's my favorite knight in shining armor. Thanks, I guess. You needed help. It looks like you might have been overextending yourself on the battlefield, Pop. Did you really think that you could stop these three all by yourself? It's not like I had a choice. Somebody had to do it. And die had his memories erased by his father, Baran. Where's Baran now? He went ahead to try and capture Dai. All right, that means we don't have any time to waste on these pawns. What was that? That cocky little bastard! Former undead legion commander or not, he's still only human. Uh? I'll slice you up just like that idiot kid you tried to rescue. Hey, Pop, you can finish off that one. Time to pay him back for all the pain he inflicted upon you. Oh, come on! You cannot be serious! Look at him! He's done for! That little dweeb can't fight me! You'll see. There's no way you can beat Pop. However, if by chance you should, then I will challenge you. This one is a complete moron! You're about to let the guy you saved get slaughtered! Fine then! This time, I'm going to finish the job! And then, I'll be coming for you! I hope my magic power holds out! This time, I'm... Two more spells! I hope my magic power holds out! Perish! Levizoom! What a joke! You want to fight me in the air? What? How did he... I told you, you can't defeat Pop. I hit you with my bloody scryde. It always leaves a mark. Leave it, bird face! Now have the rest of my magic power! Bang! Bell Dandy. Yes, I did it. Only now my... my... 
My magic power is all spent. You've done well. Get some rest, and don't worry. <laughs> I'm not worried. Your attitude might suck, but I know how strong you are. I think I'll be taking you up on getting that rest. You truly did a good job, Pop. Curse you! How dare you do that to Del Dandy? You're going to pay for this. Oh, I'm gonna pay for it, huh? Yeah, that's right. This time I, Borahorn, shall squash you like... Ah! Ah! You're the ones who will pay. I don't know who you goons are, but after what you did to my junior disciple, do not expect to walk away from this. Shoot, I like this new Hanyo uncle. He ain't he ain't playing no games. I'm like, oh he had me. I I ain't know what to say. I'm like, alright, Hanyo uncle, bro. Your thing, man. Your thing. Member of the Dragon Masters, Skyrider Galdandi is here. I'm ready. I'll pulverize you! Curse you! How dare you do that to Del Candy? You're going to pay for this. Oh, I'm gonna pay for it, huh? You're the ones who will pay. After what you did to my junior disciple, do not expect to walk away from this! Dark puppetry aura head! Be gone! Earth Slash! Why don't we just get this over with? I'm in a hurry. This brat! You think you're so strong? Thus. Under! Is this the extent of your unrivaled power? Disappointing. A friend of mine has twice this strength in his little finger. Ugh, why you? How's this? What am I done for? Are you next, or do you give up? Not bad for a human, but you'll see. I won't be as easy as the other two. Don't even try to bluff. As you've seen, my armor can repel attack spells and breath. Yes, I'm aware. It was forged by Lon Beric, the greatest craftsman in all of the underworld. The Dark Armor Blade. It was a gift. I never knew who made it. I see. Either way, I wasn't bluffing just now. I'm not very good at most spells, but my weapon still rivals yours. Wait, is that...? Take a good look at Lon Beric's other masterpiece. The Dark Armor Spear. Amdo! And now we're equal. Wait, no. I'm still a better warrior. So I guess I have the advantage. 
We'll see. Please hope this fight be animated. As his sea rider Borahorn, king of the sea. I'm ready. You'll never see me come. Are you next, or do you give up? Not bad for a human, but you'll see. I won't be as easy as the other two. Time to finish you off! Completely different level. He's not at all like the other two. Trying to predict those speed attacks is impossible. You may have power in your attacks, but unless you can actually hit me, it's meaningless. So, you aren't quite dead. Then I won't finish you off. You can bleed out in a pool of shame and regret. The boy Dino is still to be reclaimed. I must hurry to assist Master Baran. Dino... Does he mean die? Father or not, I can't... Let him take... Die. He... He is the last hope for all humans still living in this world. Nonsense. The filthy humans of this realm don't deserve any kind of savior. You know what? I shall tell you before you die. The reason why Master Baran hates humans so much is because the only woman he ever loved the mother of young Master Dino was murdered by humans! Larhart explained how due to their immense strength, only one Dragon Knight ever exists at one time within the world. When a Dragon Knight's life ends, the Holy Mother Dragon descends. The Dragon Crest passed on to the life she bears within her. She later gives birth to the child in a distant land. The humans there then raise them as a divine child. When the child grows into adulthood, they awaken to their duty. As a result, Dragon Knights are fated to fight knowing neither their parents nor offspring. However, Baran's case was different. Fifteen years prior, Baran fought Velzar, the Abyss Dragon, and his kin, which posed an even greater threat to the world than Hadlar. Though he vanquished Velzar, he sustained mortal wounds and visited the Fountain of Miracles, said to heal Dragon Knights. There, he met a kind-hearted human woman, Princess Sola of the Alkid Kingdom. To Baran, Sola was like a gentle ray of morning sun, and the two eventually fell in love. However, displeased vassals spread rumors that he was a monster. Before long, he was driven from the castle. 
Baron intended to cut ties with Sola there and then, only for her to confess that she was with child. That child was Dino, or Dai, as he's better known. The three of them lived in the forest of Terran for a time. However, angered and shamed to have their princess stolen by a monster, soldiers of the Alkid kingdom hunted them down and surrounded them. Baran allowed himself to be captured in exchange for Sola and his son's safety. But Dino was separated from his mother and sent to a distant land. The Alkid Kingdom then sentenced Baran to death. No, why? Why? Why would you do this? I couldn't bear to see my own... my own father and the others continue with such awful cruelty. But please don't hate the humans. They're all just scared. But please, Dino, go and find him and then live. Together in peace. Sola! How foolish to die for a monster! What a disgrace! Her? A disgrace? Just who do you think you are? Be gone, humans! Be gone! Horribly pathetic and selfish creatures. And the things that I once fought. The king of the abyss to protect those swine. If I knew humans were such filth, I would have let Felsar have them! Master Baran searched around the world, but he could never find Dino. Apparently, the ship was lost at sea. It was in his deepest despair that the Dark King Vern approached him. He agreed that humanity should be destroyed for good. I'm the only one Master Baran has ever told this sad tale. Uh, Larhart. You are indeed powerful. I doubt I even have the strength left to stand. But after hearing that story, I know that I have to get back up. For Dai. And for Baran. For Master Baran? Explain yourself. I know very well how he feels. I too once lost faith in the human world. I sold my soul to the Dark Army and sought to destroy everything. But then I realized, no, my friends made me realize that there is still hope left for the human world. And so now, my duty is to help Baran see it. Help him see the truth. What could you possibly know? You think that my master's pain is something so light that you can help him lift it?
that our weapons create! What? A cross? cross? Impossible! He was hiding a weapon charged with his aura! The only thing that I had left. But this chain will not break. It's a symbol of the bond between the disciples of Avon. The bond. Using that Grand Cross is going to leave me. Weak for a while. Uh, at least I haven't fainted like I did when I used it on Hadlar. <laughs> you're. you're still alive. All right. This time I'll go right for your head. <laughs> Not so fast. Drop your weapon. Otherwise, he's the one who will lose his head. You scoundrel. in this pitiful insect's life. All I want to see is your head on a platter! Know your place! Very well. Don't quit, Yunkel! Just forget about me! Come on! Just kill him now! I cannot do that. Of course you can! I am all out of magic power! Between me and you, it's obvious who can help die! Besides all that, we both know someone who will be miserable if you don't make it back! Ma'am. Her tears are the last thing I ever want to see. I beg you, you have to live. That way you can go on and make her happy. Look, Pop, I can't make anyone happy. All I bring is misfortune. It's my curse. A curse that I plan to use against those who do evil. That's why I'm here. Why I joined your party. And so when I see him again, Havan will have one less reason to scold me for all that I've done. If he heard I left a junior disciple to die, he'd disown me for good. <laughs> That's the attitude. Now hold still, tough guy. Die! Go! Our heart. Land right. Why did you do that to your friend? 
To use a hostage like that would bring shame to the Dragon Masters. It's unforgivable. And against a human, no less. What is it that's made you despise humanity so deeply? Much like Master Dino, I was born to parents of different species. For me, it was a Darkling and a human. My Darkling father died early. And so I was raised by my human mother. But then, when I was seven years old, war broke out between Lord Hadlar and all of the human nations. Just because of my Darkling lineage, the humans thought themselves better than me. And not just me. But my human mother as well. Eventually, she fell ill. And passed away. Forsaken by her own people. Master Baron was the only one who ever understood my pain. <laughs> you two are so soft. You actually feel my pain as if it were your own. I must admit, I've never met humans like you. Maybe you'll be able to understand Master Baron's pain as well as you do mine. Larhart. I leave his fate and Dino's in your hands. Yonko, I have one more request. Would you please accept my my dark armor spear? I want you to use it. The armor favors you as well. I knew that it would. It may have been in battle, but I'm glad to have met men like you. Even at the, the very end. Larhart, I shall accept your will as well as this armor in which your spirit resides. tell and I think I know him Dino no matter where they hide you I can always detect where you are for we will always be connected by the blood in our veins Hand over, Dino. No. <laughs> Do you think that you two can stop me by yourselves? Did you learn nothing from our previous encounter? How interesting. I hope you have a very good plan. Of course we can't stop him alone. There's no way we can match his strength. If only... If only we had one more on our side. 
Also, speaking of ill-advised plans, that mage, it seems like he didn't think his strategy through. I left him to the Dragon Masters. Does he mean pop? To sacrifice such a weakling was unusually cruel of you, Crocodile. Or perhaps it was actually the girl's idea. Hey, Pop, you went to stop Baron's forces all alone. You pretended to abandon us. And chose to be hated or for die. When he left, I hit him. I actually hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I've been such a fool. I couldn't see how truly determined you were and called you a coward. Oh, forgive me, Pop. I can only try and make it up to you in the afterlife. I have had my eyes opened. Now, come fight me! I think I now have a plan. But I'll need your help. You... you can't! You know what to do! Draconic <laughs> uh, Blocked an attack imbued with my draconic aura. Hey, Baron, try using your Giga Break. Excuse me? My hide is tougher than steel. Only your strongest attack could take my life. Well said. I shall grant your wish. Take this, my ultimate blade! Giga Break! <laughs> Thus ends the Beast King. Obliged, princess. Now I can once again fight. Not so fast. It needs more time. My full heal can't restore both your wounds and your stamina all at once. I shouldn't have any stamina left. I hit him with my Giga Break attack. Even the Beast King can't survive that. All I need is to focus my energy into defense. So long as I still breathe, the princess is able to replenish my stamina with her full heal. Hit me as much as you like. My life force or your power, it's a contest to see which will last! Contest? You dare mock me? You dare mock the power of the Dragon Knight! His aura is overwhelming. Crocodine, this is insanity! He's not going to give up, and you can't keep on fighting like this! I'm well aware it's crazy! But I have no choice, because it's the only way to stop Baran! Let us follow in Pop Spirit, Princess. I suppose it's punishment for doubting him. <laughs> I feel like I'm burning! It's like... like I can't sit still! I hear him. Someone is calling me. I have to go. Giga Break! Are you immortal? No one has ever been hit by my Giga Break twice and managed to survive. Immortality is Yonko's thing. 
If I keep getting hit by such a fearsome attack, I'm certain I'll perish. But if taking my life drains you of your power, then it's not a bad trade. You mean, you're not trying to win this fight at all? You would throw everything away just to see me spend my stamina and magical energy? I'm afraid it's the best I can do. If you have nothing left, it'll help my friends when they fight you later. How can he trust the human so much? And that spirit is making him stronger. He needs a full heal. That zapple was a warning. Take one more step and I'll turn you to ash. I'm done with this game of cat and mouse. This time around, I will end it for good. No, stop! Double! Princess! What? Lorhart's dark spear. Why would he interfere? What's the meaning of this, Lor? <laughs> Yanko? Well, well, young man. You survived. <laughs> yeah, just barely. But still, together we were able to take down those Dragon Masters. Not a chance. You're speaking lies. It's not a lie. They were defeated. How else would the two of us be standing here? Now I see. You killed Larhard and took his armor like a vulture. Not quite. As a matter of fact, Larhar gave me this armor of his own free will. Before he passed, he asked that I do my best to save you, Baran. The armor was his final gift. A gift that I plan on wearing with pride. It's not true. I know Larhar, and he would never confide in a human. Baran, Larhar told me your tragic story. What happened to Sola? The princess of Arkid Kingdom, your wife, the mother of your child, and the day you turned your back on humanity. I understand your anger and grief all too well, but not all humans are evil. You should know that better than anyone else. Because she, the woman that you loved so very much, was herself human. <coughs> You witnessed the most beautiful and ugly sides of our species at the same time. The weight of it was unbearable, so you hoped to erase all of humanity from your sight. But you are mistaken. Doing that won't erase the grief you feel from losing Sola. If you truly call yourself Dai's father, if you truly love your son, then Baran, Shouldn't you reach out to him with your human heart? I'm sure that's what Dai's mother would want as well. <clears throat> then I cast him aside, this human heart and body! None of your pandering nonsense will bring back my soul up. All that drives me now is to destroy the humans together with my son. It's all I live for. I will reclaim Dino by force if I must, even if I have to become a demon beast to do it! His red blood is turning into the blue blood of the Darklings. Hey, uh, guys, what's happening to him? Baran's body is changing.
Is this? Could this? Could this actually be a Dragon Knight's true form? Indeed. The combined power of dragons, darklings, and humans. The ultimate combat form of the Dragon Knight. A form known as the Dragonoid. Unbelievable pressure. Never felt anything this intimidating. Pop, you have to get inside the castle. No way! I'm fighting too! Don't be stupid. You can sense that energy, can't you? Baran's aura is overwhelming. Besides, you're out of magic power. You'll be useless out here. Hey, watch it! Look after Dai! And if anything happens to us, you have to get him as far away from here as possible! All right! Fine then! Don't any of you get killed! Pop! Striking the wounded from behind! How dare you! Now that I'm in my Dragonoid form, I will stop at nothing to destroy every pitiful enemy in my line of sight. Just like that of a demonic beast, this power is simply too strong for me to hold back. Wounded or not, I have no mercy to spare. But can you blame me? You reopened the scar on my heart! You brought this upon yourselves! Curse you! Go! He's too. No, he's gonna wipe us all out at this rate. Even at our strongest, there's no way we could beat anything with this much power. It's overwhelming. I've never seen anything like it. He truly has the strength of a dragon and the magic power of a darkling. You've seen nothing of my power yet. I'll erase you all in an instant. This is a spell of purification. One I can only cast in this form, Doru Aura! No use, we can't move! Stop it, Baran! Don't give yourself over to violence! Your words mean nothing. Once I take the form of the Dragonoid, I cannot turn back until you've all been destroyed. Be gone! Dino. This one's the real deal. Are you the one who called for me? So who are you? I'm your father, don't be afraid. But you... you don't look like me at all. You look... like a monster. You are right, my son. This form is not human. It seems that you take more after your mother. I doubt you can become a Dragonoid. Now. <gasps> Remove that cloth. I get it. I see. You're not lying, are you? The only proof we need is the crest upon our foreheads, a symbol of the bond between us. 
While our forms may be different, we are still family. Huh? You know this. I am your father. Father? <gasps> Move. What can a piece of trash like you do? Well, nothing. I know that already. But I, I, I still have to fight. I'm the only one left here. The last one standing. If you attack me in this form, then I will respond with great brutality. And everyone but my son, every single person here, will be laid to waste. <laughs> this is your last chance. Dino may have brought forth what remains of my humanity, but it's too late. Hand him over peacefully. You're in the way, mister. Huh? I finally met my dad. But die. Huh? I'll never let you have our die. Not now, not ever. You hear me? <laughs> but I like Omni Man. You can't have him. Our die, you say? That's right. Without him, Leona would be dead. And if they hadn't fought Dai, Crocodile and Yonka would still be evil. And me, if I hadn't met Dai, I'd still be running away. I'd be some coward, all talk, useless, worthless to everyone I know. <laughs> Our lives were changed by Dai. It's thanks to him that we even made it this far. He's the one who lifts us all up for him to become an enemy to humans for him to just disappear from our lives I'd rather die than let that happen then death it will have to be it's no good there isn't a single shred of humanity left inside him what do I do I've got no magic power or weapons or items all I've got is my fists isn't there anything else I can try think think if I don't act, he's gonna take Dai away. Master Avon, what would you do? How would you fight at a time like this, Master? Come on! That's right. There's still one thing that I can do. But if it works, I... What am I supposed to do? Don't worry. I'm gonna end this real quick. Uh... Hold on to that bandana, will ya? I've had it since I was five. It's kind of my trademark. But me? Why, mister? Listen. Just don't <coughs> lose it! <coughs> Feel the power of my Dragonoid form! Alright, Omni Man, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, I, hey, uh, he sound like Ani Man though, and he looked like him. It's funny. All right, Pops has confronted Dragonoid Baron, full of desperate determination. He does Baron's attack, then once ready, press R1 to cast Pops' final spell. Stop it! This is crazy! I cannot bear to watch such a pathetic suicide attack. I'll shatter him with one blow. Pop! Not bear to watch such a pathetic suicide attack. I'll shatter him with one blow. How 
can your grip be so strong? You'll see. All of my life energy is being focused through my hands. I can't let you pull them out. What? You? You're not. If you use Legate, it will kill you. Uh, I know. And if my luck holds out, we'll both be blown to pieces. Just like my master. Stop it. This is crazy. You don't know if it'll work on Baron! You could die for absolutely nothing! Oh, it's gonna work! The Draconic Aura might be strong, but it can still be broken by an even more powerful energy! He even said so himself! It's an honor to make this sacrifice! With you out of the picture, there's a chance for all of humanity! So I don't think I could ask for a better reason to die! That came with it, the sadness. Leona, Yunkel, Crocodile, everyone, you'll have to take it from here and make something up for ma'am, will you? Die. Okay? It's not the last thing I want to see. Got it? <laughs> see you, pal. We've been through quite a bit. It's been fun. But my... My adventure... Ends here. <laughs> Megante! Damn, did Pop really die, bro? I don't think Pop did. God damn, that's a lot of <laughs> yo. This, this is insane. It's a majority of talking and anything. I was so weak. You, you, I'm sorry. Don't go! Ah! Has his memory returned? Perhaps, but the price was all too high. After Pop sacrificed himself? The Magante spell really had no effect on him? I might take substantial damage from a properly focused Magante. But this one's lack of experience spared me. Just as he channeled all of his life energy and detonated, he let his guard down, his grip weakened. And so in that final moment, I managed to break free of your weak friend. A meaningless death. Curse you! Baran, why you? Kalajan, don't! Stop it! Be gone! Enough. No more! Stop hurting my friends! It seems you really have regained your memories. Incredible. I thought I'd thoroughly erased them. 
If you really are my dad, why are you doing this? You've done all this damage. You've hurt and killed people. And for what? Quiet! My mission is to destroy humanity and its allies. You are my son, understand? You will obey me. Damn, this is Omni Man. You're right that sometimes humans can be cruel. They can be selfish. They bully and they discriminate. But I know that some of them aren't like that at all. I've seen it. Everyone is just trying to do the best they can in the times they have to live in. That's. That's who Pop was! There is no reason to remember such trash. This time, I'll erase all your memories completely. Now forget everything, Dino, and become my true son. No, I... I won't forget Pop ever again! I'll never forget him! Even now, you would resist your father? You ungrateful brat! You're not. You're not! You are not my dad! What? He struck me while I was shielded by my draconic aura? history for the light of the crest to appear anywhere other than the forehead it's never happened before could it be the human spirit is this soul's will what what's happening why did the dragon crest appear on the boy's fist it looks like he's figured out how to channel the energy of the crest spell and gain the strength necessary to damage him. He realized that the power of the crest needed to be redirected to this fist. While Dai's aura may be weaker overall, when it's focused to a single point, each attack will be stronger. Prepare yourself, Ron! You've taken so much from me, my dearest things! Even if you are my dad, I'll never forgive you! Watch your tongue, boy! Even now, you would resist your fall. Child can't best his father. I won't give in. I, I will never back down. Ah! This 
is ridiculous. A child can't best his father. It's time to back down. Or I'm going to put a hole through you. If I fire my crest beam at full power, it can carve through mountains. Don't test me, Dino. My name is Dot! Take this! Don't hold back. The others are fair game, but I'm not! Foolish child. Slow down. Don't anger Baron any further. His full power has yet to be revealed. Everyone, I'm going to bring Pop back. It's exactly as I feared. At this rate, Dai doesn't stand a chance. What do you mean? Up until now, Baran has been holding back his full strength to protect Dai. Even with us, he probably held back because we used to be allies. And now, he's a Dragonoid, a vicious demon beast. If he's provoked enough, he'll kill anyone, no matter who they are. Even if it means his own child. Massive amounts of the draconic aura and fires it as a spell. Watch out! Die! Move it! <sighs> nice try! Doru Aura! See, you dodged with a zoom spell. You have good instincts. But I will not miss again.
because of us. If Baran fires that kind of spell down here, we'll all be reduced to ash. That's why Dai changed the battlefield. <laughs> it seems like you've given up. Let's end this. What do you think you're doing? I'm not giving up. Even you can't cast a spell that strong more than twice. So if I can take one more, then I'll win! You fool. No being can withstand a Dragon Knight's Doru aura at full power. It's never been used on another Dragon Knight, but it's a risk I'm willing to take! Save your nonsense, boy! Now away with you! Doru aura! Dragon within! Time to awaken! Focus everything I have to defeat him! Draconic Aura! <laughs> now there's nothing left! <laughs> spell but if I I will never back down oh, rush. Uh, 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 don't hold back the others are fair game <laughs> Isn't it a pity? When a Dragon Knight fights with Draconic Ore at full strength, normal weapons and armor can endure the power of burn up. In your case, you focused all your aura into the right arm. No weapon in the world can survive such immense force. Except for this. This is my demon dragon blade. And the only sword in the world that can endure a draconic aura. So you see, only a blade like this can withstand a Dragon Knight's fully powered swing. I may not have the magic power for Doru Aura, but victory is in sight. <laughs> now, see for yourself. Crocodile, let's go. <clears throat> now. Junker. <clears throat> Dai needs help. I have a plan. Crocodile, do you think you have enough strength left to throw me all the way up there? Right.
Your pitiful attacks won't. <gasps> Uncle! There, die. Try using that. It's not as strong as Buron's, but it's still a legendary dark blade. How clever. But no one can trick the great Baron. <sighs> Curse you! <sighs> Die. Finish it quickly. Not even the dark armor blade can endure your power for long. All right, this will work. Feel it the moment our blades crossed. That weapon isn't nearly as strong as my demon dragon blade. I'll shatter it in a single blow. Using my ultimate attack, Giga Break! What? Even I can only imagine what destructive power it might have when used in this dragonoid form. Prepare to be obliterated. I don't think you have the energy left for it. <laughs> the spell you just used was Sapple! You don't have enough magic power left to cast anything else. And without that, we're sure to win! Zabble? With all my power, Master of Bond's attack, Kyoko's blade... Finally, with all my memories that pop restored, and the strength that they give me! You won't stand a chance! <laughs> so, what happened to me? Did I die back there? Well, obviously. I used Magante. That means, where's Baron? He's not here. So if this is the afterlife, did he go to a different one or something? <coughs> Who's that? It's me! Huh? You're Goma-chan! Huh, what do you know? Goma-chan's talking. I guess anything's possible in this place. Wait, does that mean you're dead as well? Pop! Don't go that way! You'll enter the land of the dead and there's no going back once you've gone in there! Huh, well, now that you mention it, my feet keep moving and I can't stop them. Get a grip, dummy! You're not actually gonna just give up and die, are you? We've come all this way together, haven't we? If you do die, then I... I... Hey, I'm sorry, Goma-chan, but it's over for me now. Honestly, it's a miracle I survived this long. My strength could only take me so far. truly are still a child. Falling for that. You don't have my years of experience in battle. This is the end! Stupid Pop, you weakling! What? You haven't even managed to avenge Master Yvonne, and now you're just giving up? You're pathetic! I hate you, Pop! Why, you little... I'm not letting a little crybaby like you call me pathetic, all right? You hear me? I tried as hard as I could! You liar! <sighs> now he's out there and he's all alone in that fight! And you! You're abandoning him! That's pathetic! You're a coward! 
Watch your mouth, you stupid slime. I... I may be dead, but I'll... I'll... I will never abandon die! All to my Giga Break! His crest is on his fist? Baron flinched for a second from Pop's surprise attack. That meant Die Strash was slightly faster, so he avoided taking a direct hit from Baron. Die, are you all right? Yeah, and it's all thanks to you guys. I owe you. The blade disintegrated. Its blade and hilt have been reduced to dust. Even with its magical properties, it can never be restored. So the Dark Blade is no more. Uncle, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Your life is more valuable. Thanks, Uncle. Huh? Wait a sec, where's Pop? Yes, he should be all right as well. He is the one who saved you, after all. No, he's... It's too late. I can't raise him. That's impossible! I mean, he just... I really don't, don't understand why that happened. But still, my Zing spell just wouldn't work on him. No, it can't be true. Please, open your eyes! Pop! Don't try to bluff. I can tell you don't have an ounce of strength left. Neither of us do. His heart has definitely stopped. So then, how? Did the emotional bond to his comrades really cause something so powerful to stir inside of him? Is such a miracle possible? How ironic. The power of dragons, magic of darklings, and the heart of a human. Of all three gifts bestowed upon a dragon knight, for the human heart, the one I thought was worthless. For it to deal me such a crushing blow. What are you doing? Dino, I have nothing left to say. 
Follow the path that you believe is the right one. However, this world won't hold two Dragon Knights. Once my blade is restored and my wounds have healed, then we shall settle this. You'll return to the Dark Army? No longer will I fight for their cause. If you are able to defeat me, go and destroy them for the sake of your kind. But if I defeat you instead, then I will wipe out all of humanity. How can you still say that? It's too late to change my ways. I've lived too long like this. Stubborn old man! Say what you will. This is the first and last time I offer a gift to an enemy. Dino, no, die. You've been warned. Did he just revive Pop with the power of the Dragon Knight? <gasps> Baran has reconnected to his human heart. That's why, to atone for his sins, he wants his own son to finish him. He truly is tragically powerful, but forever alone. Outcome! Baron survived, and Dai's powers have become even stronger! At this rate, I'll... I'll... Commander Hadlar, King Vern summons you. Hadlar, raise your head. I beg for forgiveness, King Vern! As his superior, Baran's failure is my responsibility. When he returns, I shall make sure- ENOUGH! Baran will likely never return. Considering his past behavior, I doubt he'll do anything unless it involves the boy. The real failure, and your crime, was hiding Dai's Dragon Knight lineage from even me. This mess is a result of your petty little games. Baran is the only being in the world who has the power to resist me. Convincing him to become an ally of mine was not an easy task. I am a tolerant man. I will forgive up to three failures. First, you've cost us the Romos and Papnica kingdoms, and allowed two of our Legion commanders to join the other side. Then on Valja Island, despite leading an entire army, you failed to kill the boy. And now, this incident with Baran. However... I have not forgotten that it was you who defeated the hero, Aban. <gasps> Hadlar, this is your last chance. When you next appear before me, if you still haven't wiped out Dai and his bothersome allies, my patience will run out. Do you understand me? Y yes I shall stake my life upon it, my king. Very well. Be gone. Shouldn't we just kill him, sire? I have given him the ultimate body. If he cannot win, then the weakness is in his mind. Driven to desperation, he may actually prove his worth. 
We can kill him anytime. So, let us sit back and enjoy the final charge of the Hadlar Legion. Zabora, I want you to summon the Mystic Legion immediately. I'll call upon my elite guards. We'll gather all of our remaining forces and launch a mass offensive. The boy and his pathetic allies will not survive. You wait just a minute, Lord Hadlar. That plan has already failed us one time before. Dai's party will not be defeated by numbers alone, understand? If their power truly rivals that of Dragon Master General Baran, a carefully planned assassination is our best option right now. Assassination? Have you forgotten Dark King Burn's wrath? This is hardly the time to be picky about how you get the job done. Fine. I will leave it to you. After Baron's assault, Dai and the others got some rest in Merilda's cottage. Pop insisted on standing guard against further attacks, stating he was in much better shape than the rest of them. However, this was only a ruse to convince them to rest. In truth, Pop hadn't fully healed either. Even so, he patrolled the area, wanting to be of use to everyone. Suddenly, he ran into Ma'am, who was supposed to be out training. Excited to see her again, he asked her how her training went. She replied that she put it on hold out of concern for everyone else. In truth, it wasn't Ma'am, but Zabora in disguise. A sweet fragrance enveloped the area, making Pop feel woozy. After Zabora stabbed him with his claws, Pop fell over, paralyzed. Zabora's dark incense put Hyunkel and the others into a deep sleep. Once Hadlar reappeared, Pop found himself in grave danger. As a last resort, Pop berated Hadlar for stooping to such cowardly tactics. After all, even Crocodile realized in the end that there are some things more important in life than mere victory or defeat. Hadlar was at a loss for words. But Zabora declared that there was no use in quibbling and moved to finish Pop off himself. You'd perish eventually if I left you alone. But a few more pricks, and I'm sure you'll die. <laughs> Time to die! <laughs> Get your filthy little paws off of him! <laughs> Mentor! Matterev! You moron! You let them deceive you! You need to work harder on your perception! Never forget this. The mage must always be the most focused and level-headed member of their party. Everybody else is allowed to get worked up, but you need to stay cool as ice and understand the situation. At least that was what I did when working with Havan. Now I recognize you. You sided with Havan and his resistance. They said that you were the most powerful grand sorcerer among the humans. Yeah, and I see you're still a third-rate Dark Lord. You just won't give up. So now I have to play cleanup. On top of that, you killed one of my only friends. Roka, Avan, all the good ones are gone, and crooks like you and me just keep getting away with it. What an ugly world this is. So here's the deal. I'm sending you to the afterlife so you can apologize to the hero Avan. Stupid old man. You'll see. Just one spell and you'll be ashes! Sizzle! Sizzle! Squelch! He's not healing right away. That poison must be incredibly powerful. Two spells at once? 
Now let's see. How about this? Cousin! How can a mere human conjure a cassis spell? That should be impossible! Did you really think you were the only one who could? Get over yourself! Zabora! Quit rolling around on the ground! Hurry up and help me! <laughs> You'll regret ever going against us! This is for my arm! Settle! should have had you sleeping like a baby! I heard Pop! He was calling out to me! Now you'll see! This is what happens when you try and hurt my friends! Curse you, boy! Never again! Do you understand me? Sizzle! He focused all his power into his fist and reflected their sizzle spells with one of his own. Even I can't do that. Dai, are you okay? Uh, yeah. You did it! Hadlar's gonna be done for sure, right? I don't know about that. He is getting stronger. I'm sorry. Once again, you're the one saving me. But, uh... You know, I appreciated what you said about us. You know we've always got your back too, right? What happened? Huh? This... this is... How did we sleep through an explosion this size? Zavora and Hadlar were just here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank the gods for zoom spells! Those filthy little brats! I doubt that Hadlar survived the blast as well. After all the help I gave him, he's still useless. Now I'll have to seek favor with Mistvern. Ah! Lord Hadlar! Zabora! You can't betray me! Like it or not, you and I are in the same boat! If you try latching on to someone else, I'll destroy you! You think I won't? I see every move you make, my friend. Even all your research on the history of superior beings! I think it's time for you to share your efforts with me! The disciples of Avan are growing stronger every day, much too fast. This body King Vern gifted me isn't enough to keep up. I need even greater power, power like that Dragonoid Baran. My strength must be greater than anything they've ever seen. The entire world will tremble.
I see. That explains the crest on your hand. Impressive power. I'm alive because of you. We're sorry. We fell into a trap cast by Zabora of all people. You shouldn't blame yourselves. If anything, I'd blame the one who let his silly emotions cloud his judgment. I can't believe that Hadlar went along with one of Zabora's schemes. He's always preferred the brute force approach. He realized he's outmatched. Now that he's learned the hero is the son of the legendary Dragon Knight, he's starting to get desperate. Hey, Mentor, you knew something was different about Dai, didn't you? Don't you think you should have shared that information a little earlier? Also, you really took your precious time showing up, didn't you? I knew that learning the prophecy of the Dragon Knight would be a great burden to you, Dai. There's nothing I can do to help with that. I only know one person who could, so I dug this up. What, some dirty old book? Uh, this mark, I is it? Right, this is the legendary Book of Avon. Avon the hero recorded all of his skills, spells, and the theories behind them for future generations. It's handwritten. It contains his entire legacy. In all of our training, Master never mentioned this before. Is that what you went looking for then? I found it in the library of Carl, his homeland. I figured that perhaps you would make better use of it. Check the passage on air-based skills, page 192. It has three parts. The Book of Earth is about combat, while sea is about the auras. And the Book of Air is all about the soul. Uh, to the... and... <sighs> Fiona, could you? I can't read very well. To the wounded and lost. Defeat is not to fall from your wounds. It is when you lose yourself after you have fallen. Be strong of heart. Calmly consider your goals and the limits of your abilities. For we are all limited in what we can do. When each of us does the best that we can. Even when we are on the very edge of despair, the path to victory will reveal itself and shine brightly before you. It's like Master is right here, in the room. He always said it best, didn't he? Anyways, I thought you might be interested. Just take good care of it, okay? Thank you so much, Matteriv. The limits of our abilities, huh? Let's return to Papnica. I want to do the very best that I can. Something that benefits the world in a way that fighting it's yet to achieve. Something that only I can do.